hi again and welcome to my channel welcome to video number six on how to read in arabic in today's video we are going to learn on what's important when it comes to the letter ba ta tha, and noon we are going to cover on how to pronounce them right write them right and read them right but before we start this video please like subscribe and ring the bell to be notified for any future video leave a comment and let's get into today's video okay so into today's video let me first introduce you the letter ba which is the second letter in the alphabet and the letter ba belongs to three letters or let me say it has two siblings which are the ta and tha since they do look same so let us consider them as within the same family it is just the dots that would differentiate them from a letter from another for instance the letter ba has one dot below it and for the letter ta it is two dots above it and sometimes you can just write them as one line following with the letters tha tha is this is a three dots above it but you can just draw them as a small curve above the letter tha so the letter ba is written like this alone but at the start of the word it would look like this it would get attached to the letter that's on its left side and when the letter ba appears in the middle of the wall it's gonna look like this as if it's been attached into both of the sides well, it actually gets attached to on whatever it's on the left side and onto its right side and when you see the letter ba in the end you are gonna attach the right it with the right letter and write ba as itself so in general you will see ba is written into this type of forms and when we ever want to add in a small vowel next to the letter ba just in case if you guys don't know what is a small vowel please check out the video it is in my channel i'll give the link in my description box so moving on and how are we gonna write in the vowel on the letter ba we have the a U, the U vowel and the E the I vowel for the letter ba it is going to be with a, va a vowel it's gonna be ba ba we're gonna write the fatha on top of the letter ba pronounced as ba and for vowel number two which is the U the dhamme vowel it's gonna be bu bu and for vowel number three which is known as the kath Kesra, the I, B, B. So, ba, bu, B. Moving on to the long vowel. The long vowel are same as the short vowel, but it's just that they're gonna be pronounced as double. So, for the A, the double A, it is going to pronounce as ba, ba. You put a fatha on the ba and a madil alif. Ba and for the double bu bu a wow you're gonna be attached to a wow and for the medlia it's gonna be b b so ba bu b as you guys may have seen the first thing the letter ba has a fatha on top of it this is called fatha second one this is called dhamma and for b this is called kasra so fatha dhamma kasra moving on to letter ta and tha now the letter ta and tha they are just as same as the ba letter but again it's just a dots that differ them from one to another so for the letter ta it's gonna look like this and letter tha it's gonna look like this same as the letter ba but as we have seen this is the dots that differ them so writing ta the beginning of the word is just as same as the way how you are going to write the letter ba same with tha it gets attached 
and if it appeared in the middle of the word it's gonna get attached to on what it's on left side and right side same goes with that it's just that you will add on the these extra lines but if it appeared in the end again same as but you will attach it and write it like this same goes with that you will attach it and write the letter tha like this and that's the way how you guys are going to write ba ta tha in the middle beginning or the end of the word so moving on remember guys when we had a class that i really don't remember the number of it we took about the shadda just in case guys if you haven't watched this video i would keep the link in my description box but please guys make sure you watch the video about the hamza and shadda it is very important in order to start reading in Arabic. However, guys, since this is a reading class, we are going to start in reading. I am going to choose random words, pick random words, and put on some vowels and shadda on top of them using the letter ba, ta, and tha. So just we we had already learned. Our first word would be ba with a fatha and ta with a shadda and fatha on top of it ba with a fatha it's said to be as da and ta with a shadda we are gonna double in the sound and it would be ba ta ba ta add word it's gonna be a little bit more complicated ba with a fatha tha with a sukun another ba with a fatha and tha with the fatha so ba with the fatha it would be pronounced as ba sa with the sukun we cancel all the vowels and it will be th th sound and another ba with the fatha ba and tha again with the fatha ta so bath batha bath batha it means to spread something spread it Moving to our fourth word, I think by now you're gonna get the concept and you would try and find it easy. So our fourth word, it would be a ba with a fatha, ta with a shadda and a fatha, and again another ta with a fatha. Ba, t, ta, batata, 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 it means to cut, to cut up something. Our fifth word it would be this tha ba ta thabata. It means to fix. And our sixth word and the last one it would be this ba thatha. Bathatha. Bathatha it means to go live, bath um, to broadcast. Or broadcasting now guys if you guys think these words are hard to pronounce well at least you know how to read them by now and no you don't have to memorize them besides they aren't actually important they aren't common it's uh, they're actually hard, uh, barely heard or barely said by Arabs themselves I just give them there to practice on reading so in general just don't worry about them moving on to the letter noon letter noon is similar to ba ta tha but it's just that what differentiate it from the another is is like a half turned circle whereas on the other side ba ta tha is half squared kind of look and also there is a dot only one dot in the noon which is above so letter noon would look like this on its own alone and in the beginning of the word, it would look like this, getting attached to whatever is next to it. In the middle of the word, it would look like this. It would attach on both sides and there is a dot on top of it. And if it appears in the end of the word, you are going to attach it and draw it like this. Now be careful guys, letter noon doesn't go on top of on the line like that, that, that it would go below the line and that's all what you should know about noon now let's practice some reading examples so for now i'm gonna 
post the word and I want you to write in the comment section in the English version if you want in the English version actually I want it to see it and how you are going to read it the first word would be this please pause the video and have a go na ba ta na ba ta na ba ta na ba ta means to grow something is growing to grow moving on to our second word i want you again to pause the video and write it in the way how you are going to read it this word is easy and i already have taught you if you watch out my short and my previous videos in the back there is a kasra but i don't know why it just doesn't show so it is bint bint means girl okay i guess that was a lot for today but we did a lot of important reading and it was an important lesson so thank you all guys for watching my video please guys make sure you like subscribe if you haven't and share this video with your friends also don't forget to drop in the comment and thank you so much ma salame see you in the next video bye